Uh, Heathrow Rich is up next. Hello, Heathrow Rich. Hello, boys. You all right? How are you Rich? feeling now? Last week we spoke to you, you're near death. How are you feeling now? Yeah. Well, I'm a lot better. And, and by the way, boys, I've got to start by saying thanks for the laugh. It, it was really nice. It, I think like, a bit of love from you guys, plus the phone call that I got that Ozan was going to Turkey. I think it's what pulled me through completely. Well, that's good to so, hear. Thank well, listen, you. We I'll, value I'll, you. You know, you're one of yeah, our favourite yeah. listeners and callers, so it's good to hear you on the men, Rich. Well, I am, I am, I am. And Ozil's gone. His legacy will be not what he done for Arsenal, but what he did to Arsenal. And I think tonight... Sorry, can I just pull you up on that, Rich? What do you mean by that? Well, what about Ozil? Yeah, what do you mean what he done to oh, Arsenal? come on, Jase. No, no, what do you mean? Bet- oh, I'm going to tell you then. Between him and Wenger's last three or four years, right, Ozil, what Ozil did to that dressing room, that contract that he signed... Well, the one he was offered, you mean? Okay, okay. Should he have turned it down? No, no, no. All right, let let me... Okay, let me put into complete context what I'm saying then, okay? Is that he never put it in. Previous to that contract... Right, Wenger should never have given him that contract. That's not his fault, though. That contract. As far as I was concerned, and you can go back through a bazillion shows, he was never for me, Ozil. He was never an Arsenal player, right? And I'm so pleased he's gone because it's like the last bit of the Wenger legacy between him, him, and Sanchez as well. I'm so pleased that he's gone. And, and that dressing room is part of the reason why Ramsey suffered, where Aubameyang, while he was still there... The morale in that club, the wages arguments over like Ramsey and other people, we couldn't get players to sign because of what Ozil was on, what other people... I think your anger's been pointed in the wrong direction, though, Rich. That's why I asked you, because Sorry, I, I think your, your anger and your criticism is, in the, is being pointed in the wrong direction. Whoever sat down and gave him that... You just said there, there was a malaise like, about yeah, Ozil Jace, before Jace, he signed. Jace, Jace. Jace. If you go back for all your mm. shows before we sign that contract, mm. yep. you remember me saying I drive him and Wenger. Yep. Ozil's never. But been then you've got to blame me. the club, then, Rich. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I, listen, I did at the time. I was I was never off moaning mm. about Arsenal, moaning about Wenger, moaning about the structure. Moaning, you know, we should never have paid seventy-two million for Pepe. There's loads of things I can blame the club for. But the reason, my biggest problem with Ozil was he never put it in pre-contract or after contract. He never put it in. He never showed up. And like I said last week, he was invisible. But Partey, he's starting to look... I mean, he had a great game tonight, he Partey. Did. Right? Um, Xhaka, Xhaka, he'll make Xhaka into an Edu. You won't notice he's there, but he's, he's playing well. Gabriel's got to come back. Going forward, like that kid Smith throw. And the great thing about our kids coming through now is they'll be coached properly. They weren't before, but they are being coached. There's a structure there. All right. Whether we get top four, I don't know. But you only beat Newcastle, place. Rich. You haven't, you haven't, you haven't <laughs> beaten Bayern Munich. Sorry? You've only beaten Newcastle. I mean, listen to you here. I know it's... they look like Juventus. <laughs> <laughs> You've only beaten Newcastle, no, no, Rich. No, God, no, listen to no, Yeah. No, no, Honestly, no, Rich, no, I've no, never no, known anyone to change their opinion yeah. more than you. Were they going in, down in two the... weeks ago? <laughs> Rich, didn't you phone no, us? you said they was. I said they wasn't. Rich, you I said you're going to win. Rich, six, one week is that they wouldn't. That, one that, week they're going to win the league. Yeah. Next week you're going no, down. No, no, Honestly, no, no. that that win has got then, you into the top ten. You're in the top. Yeah, well done. Well done. Top half. It's, it's a work. It's a work in progress. <laughs> we're not going down, and I'm happy with the direction you, we're going. You beat. You beat the last three sides you've beaten. are all in a relegation fight. We kept clean sheets in the last five games. We've got other players against who? Back. Against who? West Brom, Brighton, and Newcastle. Well, I'll tell you what, we were about 14 points behind Chelsea. Now, I think we're only about... Oh, so Chelsea's yeah, the... I Chelsea's use that as your yardstick. <laughs> Thanks for your call, Rich. Keep them coming in. 0871722334. It's me, Andy Goldstein, Jason Cundy on the Sports One Talk Sport.